Hello again, Pete G Zero PNM here, and welcome back to my channel and the Telegraph office here in Cornwall in the UK. Uh, for those of you who have recently subscribed, I thank you very much for taking the time to push the button, and I hope you're enjoying the videos. In my last video, I reviewed the Bagali Magnum, a real heavyweight, but this time we've got an absolute classic in the Bagali range, and uh, it's a key that um, the design has been tried and tested. Uh, it's been copied by many other different manufacturers, uh, the principal at least, and I can think of one other manufacturer that produces a similar key. But because this is a Bagali, it is absolutely a cut above the rest. I said it's a, uh, a classic, and the reason for that is this week we're having a look at the Magnetic Classic. I just So here we have the absolutely beautiful uh, magnetic classic from Bagali, and uh, it is a really, really stunning looking key. This one's got a palladium base, but there are other colours that you can uh, get. You can have it in gold or have it all in palladium. Um, like the other keys, this one's got a socket, so you just plug it in with the cable that's supplied, and, um, and away you go, really. Um, on the key, you've got the contact adjustment on the front. It's L-shaped arms, uh, very similar to, um, I'm not sure if anybody has, uh, or many has seen it, but the, the, the Kent twin paddle key made out of brass, they have a similar system with the L-shape. Um, this is your magnetic return. Uh, there's no way to adjust the spacing on this uh, key, um, the spacing of the paddles, that is. but. Um, uh, they do a nice range of uh, aluminium paddles for this, so you can change these out for whichever colour takes your fancy. Now, I do have the spec sheet for this one, um, so uh, I'll give you some specifications. Front to back, it's 80 millimetres. Uh, side to side, left to right, it is uh, 100 millimetres. The gap here is between 14 and 16 millimetres, depending on the uh, paddles that you choose. And the height is about 60, 60 millimetres. It's saying the weight is 1.5 kilograms, but what we'll do is, as we did with the Magnum in the last video, we'll just get my scales out, like that. Switch it on. Move it around so you can just see it. Switch them on. Again, it's in the, uh, the kilograms. There you go, 1.697. So about 1.7 kilograms. So a little bit heavier than the specification sheet that I have. 1,697 grams. And um, there you go, a little bit, a little bit heavier. As I say, it comes pre-wired. And uh, I really do like that palladium base. It sets the gold off lovely. Okay, so um, we'll plug it in shortly, but um, let's give you a little uh, close-up of the key.
So that was the Begali classic magnetic. Um, no luck on the QSOs that time, but um, you can't win them all. Uh, I did tune to 40 meters, but um, there's a contest on and that band is very busy and it's very difficult to get um, just general QSOs as I'm sure you're aware. So looking at the Bagali website, I'll give you the description for the Magnetic Classic. It says, as the name implies, it uses magnets for the return rather than springs of some of our other iambic keys. The construction uses the same quality components found in the simplex, like precision ball bearings and lightweight arms. And the heavy steel base and other components are gold plated. On request, the base can also be delivered in palladium, which is what this one is. It's a palladium finish on the base. Um, and using the black silver of that finish provides a stunningly beautiful contrast to the gold plating of the central bearing block. If you prefer a more rugged look, take a look at our new magnetic professional, maybe coming up in the near future. Using magnets rather than springs for the return has distinct advantages, especially if you prefer a light touch with close spacing. Since the moving magnets are embedded in micro threaded tubes, they can be adjusted with utmost precision and maintain their setting over a wide range of temperature variations. The magnets on the arms are mounted close to the pivot, which keeps the effective moving mass low and allows a responsiveness at high speeds that is unique for magnetic paddles. This key is certainly among the best that money can buy. And I certainly agree with that, it's wonderful. Um, okay, looking at it, you've got it in gold or palladium. So gold, it literally would be gold on the top as this one is and gold at the bottom. And that's the one that shows in the photograph on the website, i2rtf.com if you want to have a look. This one is the palladium version. Um, you can have gold contacts added for 60 euros more. The key that itself is 238 euros, and that's plus 22% if you are in the EU. Um, and you can have aluminium finger pieces. It comes with plastic ones, which feel okay. They, you know, it was, it was very nice to use, um, but I, I prefer the aluminium ones, and you can have those for 30, pound, uh, 30 euros. And I think they come in various colours as well, but you'd have to check with Bruno for that. So there we go, the Bagali Magnetic Classic. What a lovely key. And um, I'm sure that if you bought this key, you would not be disappointed. It certainly is great. And uh, yeah, tried and tested design, as I mentioned, but um, very capable and refined by Bagali. So there we go. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing liking this video and push the bell so you get notification of more videos when they come up and there are more videos to come i've got a whole box of keys in the house ready just for me to review so uh, look forward to doing those so thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you again take care see you on the bands the key in this video has been kindly loaned by bruna and piero bagali why not visit their website at www.i2rtf.com?